Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Today we are gonna learn how to use the verb in the past and in the present in Arabic language. So before we start, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. First of all, you need to know what is the verb in Arabic. So, it is what indicates an event associated with a specific time. So the verb should be in the specific time and event. So, verbs in Arabic are divided into three parts. الفعل الماضي والفعل المضارع والفعل الأمر So, before to know how to use the verb in the past and in the present, you need to know all these pronouns in Arabic language. So, repeat after me these pronouns. She, he, 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 huwa, huwa, they for male, hum, hum, they for female, hunna, hunna, I, ana, ana, we, nahnu, nahnu. Again with me, he, huwa, hum, hunna, ana, nahnu. In regard to the pronoun you in Arabic, I'm gonna make other video for this pronoun. So, so now let's study the verbs in Arabic, and we are gonna study. We are gonna start of past tense. So, in general, what is the verb in the past? Past tense, an even event that occurred before the time of speaking. So, it is an event happened in the past and you need to know the basic verb in the Arabic language is always in the past and used for male so the basic verb always in the past and used for male so as example ذهبه كتبه أكلا all these verbs used for male and happened in the past so how you can say he went in arabic you should use the pronoun refer to he and we said in arabic huwa huwa refer to he in english so huwa dhahaba huwa dhahaba and for verb dhahaba we we use as basic verb without any addition to the verb. So, just we say huwa dhahaba without any addition to the verb. And how we can say she went in Arabic? We use hiya, hiya refer to she in English. So, hiya dhahabat, hiya dhahabat. And here we also use the basic verb, but we add the silent ta. The habat at the end of the verb we add silent ta to, to refer to female. So silent ta refers to female just. Repeat after me. Hiya the habat. Just, we did not say the habat, we did not say ta, or tu, or ti, we say et. It is silent ta. So, hiya the habat. Hiya the habat. Letter. And now, let's complete the other pronouns in Arabic. How to say they went in Arabic for male? So we say hum the ha boo the ha boo this is voice at the end of the verb the ha boo refer to plural pronouns for male just so wow and alif refer to plural pronouns for male in the past this is just in the past. So again with me, repeat. Hum, the habu. 
home Zahabu And how to say they went for female Hunna Zahabna Hunna Zahabna So the voice Na Hunna Zahabna So this is the voice at the end of the verb Na Na refer to female plural so this is referred to plural and for female so again with me hunna dhahab na so what we say in arabic they went for male hum dhahabu hum dhahabu and for female hunna dhahab na hunna dhahab Na. And how to say I went in Arabic? Ana, me and I. Ana, the hab to. Ana, the hab to. So we add to to at the end of the verb to refer to I, to Ana. So Ana, the hab to. Ana, the hab Two. And how to say we went in Arabic? Nahnu the hab na. Nahnu the hab na. Nahnu the hab na. We add na na at the end of the verb to refer to nahnu to refer to we in Arabic language. So. To make sure that you understood the lesson well, practice this verb with me. And of course, naturally, you will have a difficulty in the beginning to understand the grammars because this is something new for you. But with the practice and try to pronounce with me, you are going to improve, inshallah, in the future. So let's practice this verb with me. So the verb is Kataba wrote in English and Kataba in Arabic. So, how to say he wrote in Arabic? Huwa Kataba. As we said, we just use basic verb for pronoun Huwa. So, Huwa Kataba. And for Hiya, Hiya. Kata bad. As we said, we use silent ta at the end of the verb. So in Arabic, the silent ta mean atta asa kina. So hiya kata bat. And how we say they wrote in Arabic? Hom kata bo. Hom. Katabu hum katabu. We add wow and alif at the end of the verb. So hum katabu for male, of course. And for female, hunna katab na. Hunna katab na. And we add na na at the end of the verb. And how to say I wrote in Arabic? Anna katab tu. Katab tu. So we add at the end of the verb tu. Tu. Anna katab tu. And for we wrote, how to say in Arabic? Nahnu katab na. Na. We add na at the end of the verb. Let's move to the present and before that you should know we use the same verb in the future and in the present but in the future we we before say the verb we use word or letter to indicate to the future and now let's study the present and after that we are gonna study the future so so in general what is the verb in a present in Arabic language it is an event that occurs at the time of speaking or after it. So, 
occurs at the time of speaking in the present and after it in the future. And now we are gonna start to the present. So the verb the haba, how to say he goes in the Arabic. Huwa yad hab. Huwa yad hab. And we should notice we add ya ya at the beginning of the verb. So in the present we add some letters of the beginning of the verb to indicate to the future and to pronoun. So we add ya huwa yadhab ya indicate to present and male. So always we said huwa yadhab for male and for present. And how to say she goes in Arabic. Hiya tad hab. And as we said, always ta ta for female in the past and in the present. So we add in the beginning ta ta hiya tad hab. Hiya tad hab. So ta indicate to female and present. And how to say they go in Arabic? Hum yadhabun. As we said, we add ya ya at the beginning for male. So hum yadhabun. And in at the end of the verb, we add waw and noon. Repeat after me. Yadhabun. Yadhabun. So, this is voice yadha boon for plural. So, hum yadha boon. And how to say they go for female in Arabic? Hun na tad hab na. Hun na tad hab na. As we said, ta ta at the beginning always for female. Hunna tad hab na. And this is known at the end of the verb. It is referred to plural for female. So, hunna tad hab na. And how to say they go for male? Hum yad boon. And for female, hunna tad hab na. Hunna tad hab na. And how to say I go in Arabic? Ana adhabu. Ana adhabu. So we add just a a at the beginning of the verb. Ana adhabu. Ana na adhabu. So how to say we go in Arabic? Nahnu nadhabu. Nahnu nadhabu. So, we add na, na at the beginning of the verb. And we should notice in the present, we add some letters for the verb at the beginning. So, we add ya or ta at the beginning or a, na. We always add at the beginning of the verb. So, in the present, we always add letters at the beginning to refer to the present and for the gender of the pronouns so so in the past we add always at the end and in the present we add at the beginning of the word and now to make sure you understood Practice with me the verb at aka la in Arabic. And how to say we eat in Arabic? Nahnu na kol. Nahnu na kol. And now how to say the verb present in the future? We just add the word sofa or Sa, the letter sa before the verb. 
So, هو يذهب in the present. In the future, هو سوف يذهب or هو سيذهب. For female, هي تذهب. In the future, هي سوف تذهب or هي ستذهب. So, let's complete the other pronouns and how to say this in the future. هم سوف يذهبون or هم سيذهبون. هنا سوف تذهبنا or هنا ستذهبنا or أنا سوف أذهب or أنا سأذهب نحن سوف نذهب or نحن سنذهب and this is the end of the video and regard to the imperative verbs or imperative mood um, I will make other video for this is verb so before we end don't forget to give me thumbs up and subscribe and of course if you did not understand anything just let me know that in the comment and as I said at the beginning you will find it is very difficult but you should practice and you are gonna improve inshallah in the future so see you in other video and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh